Hi, Wayne Foreman from WF Marketing. In this short presentation, we will show you how to use Fiverr for your next logo design project. And we'll show you the secrets to getting a great designer at a super low price. So let's get started. So what we're gonna cover is why you should choose Fiverr in the first place. We'll take a look at secrets to choosing the right designer for your specific project. And then finally, when you ask for a design, how do we choose the right designer? And then what do we include to get the best possible design? So first of all, Fiverr, why in the heck should we choose that? If you haven't heard of Fiverr, it is a site where people all over the world offer their products and services for $5. Incredible. If you look at this Alexa chart, you can see that Fiverr, even though it's dropped in rankings recently, is still the 329th most popular internet site in the world. That is unbelievable from a traffic perspective. So just absolutely busy, phenomenal, great place to be. So now when we come to logo design, we have tons of designers to choose from. In this screenshot, you can just see nine designers. When I was creating it, it just went on and on and on. There are hundreds and hundreds of designers to help you with your logos. So huge selection, lots of traffic. Let's look at what else we can do when we get started with Fiverr. So if you haven't created an account, here's how you join. So if you look at the very top of your screen, you can see the join button highlighted there in yellow. If you click on that, all you have to do is enter your email address, hit the green join button, choose a username and password, hit the green join button, and that's it, you are done. Then you're logged in. So in our case, here's how we choose a logo designer. We click the graphics and design menu option, choose logo design, and then once we get into the logo design section, you see it's important to narrow down our choices. As I mentioned earlier, there are just hundreds and hundreds of designers available. So for our project, we chose designers that can deliver in three days or less. If you don't want to wait three days and you want to choose only designers that can deliver within the next 24 hours, absolutely. And that first red arrow, you can choose that. Also, you'll see the second red arrow down at the bottom. You can choose the file formats. If, for example, you are a Photoshop expert and you would like your design delivered to you in a PSD file so that you can further edit it in Photoshop, Feel free to narrow your selections down to PSD delivery. There's also JPEG and lots of other formats. So you can absolutely narrow down your categories when you're choosing a designer. Once you've done that, then you've still got to pick an actual designer to work with. So how do you do that? Well, first of all, when you're looking at sellers, check their ratings. As you can see on this screen, the ratings are 5,000. We've got 5,000 ratings, 9,000 ratings, 11,000 ratings. Uh, the higher the number of the ratings, the more you can kind of determine that the designer has been around for a while and likely will continue to be around for a while. So I would stay away from designers that have low ratings. Uh, certainly if they don't have five yellow dots or five stars or whatever the rating category is when you look at it, uh, I'd stay away from them and then look for ones that have a high number of ratings as well. And then once you actually choose a designer that has high ratings, before you pick them, look at how many orders they have in queue. So this particular person has 208 orders in queue. So it says they will design two awesome logos for you in less than three days, but they have 208 orders in queue. So you're looking at 70 orders a day they have to finish. So that's a whole lot of orders to get done in three days or less. So be careful when you're checking uh, your designer. Make sure you know how many orders they have in queue if you're in a hurry. Also, there are things called gig extras. So a design project in Fiverr is called a gig and it costs $5. Many gigs offer extras. So things that you can get in addition to your initial order. So for example, in this particular gig, you can pay an extra $10 and get your design bumped to the top of the queue, delivered within one day. You can also see at the bottom, here's an interesting add-on. For $50, you can take that same design that gets delivered to you and they will create a Facebook cover, a Twitter cover, a YouTube cover, and a Google Plus cover with that same design. 
for $50, not bad at all. So if you're designing a whole new uh, web property, this may be a great way for you to get not only a logo, but all of your social media properties set up all at the same time. You can see there's other gigs as well. Uh, if you want to do EPS formats to be printed in uh, print catalogs or media, uh, that's an option. Uh, this person actually offers logo concept changes. So if you've got a logo that you already have, but you want to make it better, you can submit a current logo and they will fix it for you or make it better. Um, there's also other gigs. So each person has their own set of gigs. So be sure you're looking at that so you know what you can order because a lot of times uh, it's very cost effective to order at the same time. So make sure once you've picked a designer and said order, the very first thing you will get, particularly with logo design, is a request from the designer to provide information. So in this case, you can see this designer is asked for what do you want your logo to say? Do you want a slogan? Some people want slogans, some people don't. Uh, make sure you're clear on what you want that to say. What colors do you want? Do you want your text to be one color and the logo to, or the slogan to be another? Uh, what is the website that this is going to go on? Or what field of business are you in? What is the URL to your website? Oftentimes the designer will look at your website, if it exists, and match the colors of the logo to work with the website that you've already got. You can also see this person is asking for your favorite, which is misspelled, but that's okay, your favorite logo design. So for example, if you have a logo style that you like, you can design or include pictures of that design so the designer has an idea of what you want. Uh, and then anything else that you have in mind. So if you have no creative ability and want to just let the designer go with everything, just tell them that. But if you have some particular things that you would like, certain colors that you'd like or styles or fonts or graphics or anything else, this is your chance to include as much detail as you can. So then once you've done that, you place your order and you wait. Some days it's sometimes you wait one day, sometimes you wait three days, sometimes it's more depending on the gig that you picked, the designer that you picked and their workload. But whenever your workload is finished or the designer has finished, you will get a notification that says, here's your delivery. You can see on this page, it, you basically get a zip file and that's it. The zip file includes whatever you've ordered. It could be one image, it could be many images, it could be different styles, it could be all of the other gig extras that you've ordered. Uh, my suggestion is that you download this zip file to somewhere safe. While Fiverr is a great site and they store all of your orders for an undetermined period of time, I always think it's safer to keep those on your own hard drive or your own storage area. And then when you're finished, provide feedback. Feedback is an important part of why you chose a designer to start with. So if you've had good service, be sure to tell the feedback is good. On the other side, if you've had poor service, make sure you leave that feedback as well. Most of these designers live and die by their feedback. So if you have poor feedback, let them know because they will often fix your design for free and very fast to, rip, to keep you from leaving poor feedback. So that's kind of a quick overview of what Fiverr is and why you should use it for logo design. If you click the link below, we'll take you directly to Fiverr in the logo design section so you can start checking out designers for your next project. Thanks for staying with us. Hope this was useful for you. Uh, be sure to check back next time for another informative review on WFMarketing.com.